Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued laws 36, 37, 38 and 39 of 2018. Law 36 of 2018 stipulated the amending of Article 43 of the law regarding the requisite full civil and political rights for anyone to be eligible for board membership in associations, social and cultural clubs and private establishments operating in the field of youth and sport, issued by Law Decree 21 of 1989. Law 37 of 2018 stipulated the amending of some provisions of the traffic law promulgated by Law 23 of 2014. Law 38 of 2018 stipulated the ratification of the Mercantile Maritime Navigation Cooperation Agreement signed between Bahrain and Egypt in Cairo on the 26th of April 2016, associated with this law. Law 39 of 2018 stipulated the ratification of the Basic Statute of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC's Economic Judiciary Authority, endorsed by the GCC Supreme Council during its consultative meeting held in Jeddah on the 31st of May 2016, associated with this law. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today the Royal Guard. Upon arrival, His Majesty was accompanied by Royal Guard cavalry and received by the Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officers. The Commander of the Royal Guard briefed His Majesty on the participation of the Royal Guard in Operation Restoring Hope, alongside the Brothers in the Arab Coalition, led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty conducted a live call with a number of Royal Guards in their posts in Operation Restoring Hope. He sent his greetings and expressed his appreciation and pride in their noble efforts and bravery, wishing them further success. His Majesty expressed pleasure and deep thanks and appreciation to the leadership of the Royal Guard and all its affiliates for carrying out the noble national duties entrusted to them with efficiency, competence, sacrifice, loyalty and sincerity. He expressed appreciation for the distinction of the Royal Guard Special Force Museum and its valuable possessions that remain a witness to the role and the sacrifices of those heroes for their homeland. His Majesty emphasised the high spirits and combat readiness of those brave men asking Allah the Almighty to grant them success. He hailed their cooperation with the BDF in Operation Restoring Hope, as well as their continuous successes and achievements. His Majesty stated that their efforts contribute to fighting terrorism and providing humanitarian aid to the brotherly people of Yemen. His Majesty then made the following statement. Okay. <laughs> ومن أهلكم في البحرين على ما تقومون به 
من تضحيات مع اخوانكم واشقائكم من القوات المسلحه السعوديه والقوات المسلحه الاماراتيه فقد صنعتم مجدا حافلا بالبطولات في معركتنا معركة الدفاع عن ديننا الحنيف وعن أرضنا وكرامتنا العربية وكنتم نصرا لإخوتنا في اليمن الشقيق وحكومته الشرعية المنتخبة ضمن قوة التحالف العربي في عملية إعادة الأمل فسيروا على بركة الله وتوفيقه لتحقيق المزيد من الانتصارات وما النص إلا حليفنا بإذن الله تعالى والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then His Majesty toured the Royal Guard Special Force Museum and expressed his admiration, then wrote a note in the guest book. The visit was attended by the Chief of Staff. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Noemi, participated in the ministerial discussion session on investing in innovative ICT reforms in education, organised on the sidelines of the ministerial summit in Egypt as part of the Creativity Summit in Middle East and North Africa Region 2018 conference. He stressed the Ministry's keenness on training teachers to keep up with the latest developments in information and communication technology and noted that this has made great efforts since it began implementing the King Hamad Future School in 2005. The Minister highlighted that 5,500 teachers have been trained through more than 280 training courses in addition to many workshops. He noted the ongoing cooperation between the Ministry and the private sector, such as the cooperation with Microsoft to train teachers in the integration of technology into education. And the WEMI also noted the national project for the development of education and training, which resulted in a number of initiatives and programmes, including the establishment of the Bahrain Teachers College, Bahrain Polytechnic, the Education and Training Quality Authority, implementation of national tests and the School Performance Improvement Project.
in implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, to develop urgent solutions to congestion and improve the flow of traffic throughout the Kingdom. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, stated that work on the expansion of the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Avenue between roundabout 6 in Hamad Town and the Wali Alad Avenue has begun. The Minister noted that the project aims to increase traffic flow from Hamad Town by 750 vehicles per hour during peak times and improve the capacity of the intersection between the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Avenue and Route 6 by roughly 35. He pointed out that the project aims to increase the development efforts to fulfil the aspiration of the citizens and allow greater access to commercial and residential areas in general. He explained that this project and the government's comprehensive road network plan, more generally, will lead to a major expansion of Bahrain's transport capacity to accommodate increased urbanisation as well as an exponential increase in the number of vehicles on the roads. The Moroccan Embassy held a ceremony on the occasion of the 19th accession anniversary of the Moroccan monarch, His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. The ceremony was attended by ministers, diplomats, as well as members of the Moroccan community in Bahrain. The Moroccan ambassador to Bahrain, Ahmed Rashid al Khatabi, he had the outstanding bilateral relations in various fields, which were established by His Majesty the King and the Moroccan monarch, and were strengthened by exchanged visits. He affirmed that the bilateral ties witness a growing development in all domains, noting the support and facilitations the Moroccan community in Bahrain receives, which reflect the deep-rooted historic relations. As part of its role to spread and develop political awareness among citizens and prepare future candidates for the upcoming Council of Representative elections, Bahrain Institute for Political Development organised a session yesterday regarding the Municipal Councils, their duties and relationship with the Representatives Council. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. In light of the upcoming Council of Representatives election rounds and what it represents in developing the democratic process in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, provides diverse programs, courses and activities to provide the future candidates, campaign managers and anyone involved in the electoral process with proper awareness of the constitution, legislation, rules, principles and interpretation of parliamentary mechanisms mechanisms and working methods. This training will upgrade the parliament members to a better position and also to perform better in the future because as you know that without knowing everything about the law and the parliamentary issue uh, people cannot perform well in the parliament so people during this training will be acquainted and then it will ease for them how to deal with various political or economical health issues in the government and they will serve their population better. Today's session covered everything that pertains to the municipal councils, its duties and relationship with the representatives council. Moreover, Electoral appeals, irregularities and electoral crimes, legislative drafting skills and parliamentary control tools. It is very, very important for us, especially for this first time running for Parliament. Uh, they give us very rich uh, knowledge, very rich idea. This training program aims to improve the skills of candidates for elections and campaign teams on three levels, legal, political and media these kind of programs it's very uh, important um, for me as a candidate because that is going to enrich my um, knowledge my experience and how all these new um, you know uh, um, subjects that's coming into the law can help me understanding the new um, laws that I can influence and apply within the society because that will help me um, understand the people this comes according to Article 2 of BIPD's decree of establishment to spread and develop political awareness among the citizens in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution and principles of the National Action Charter. 
a great initiative by Bahrain Institute for Political Development to activate the role of future candidates and provide them with the basic principles, sufficient knowledge and adequate training to prepare them for the election process. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdelghafour. The Council of Representatives has committees tasked with the various fields of parliamentary work, including protecting human rights, maintaining a healthy business environment and much, much more to support the development march of the Kingdom. There are four types of committees, standing committees, topical committees, joint committees and temporary committees. More details in this report. The Council of Representatives is the lower house of the Bahraini National Assembly, the main legislative body of Bahrain. This council was created based on the National Action Charter and the Constitution, working hand in hand with the Consultative Shura Council to consolidate democratic action in the country and popular participation in decision making. The Council of Representatives has committees tasked with various fields of parliamentary work, which are the standing committees, the topical committees which include Parliamentary Standing Select Committee for Human Rights, which has great importance in supporting public freedoms and human rights issues in the Kingdom. Parliamentary Standing Select Committee for Youth and Sport, Parliamentary Standing Select Committee for Women and Child, which is greatly important in empowering women and supporting children in Bahrain and Parliamentary Standing Select Committee to support the Palestinian people, which focuses on all issues and matters of relevance to supporting the Palestinian cause and all that is relevant to unifying efforts, reunion and meeting the Palestinian people needs, push forward with any initiative that promotes reconciliation and the interests of the Palestinian question. Moreover, another type is the Joint Committees which include the Joint Government and Parliamentary Committee to Redirect Subsidies Policy and Development of Government Revenues, the Joint Committee of the Council of Representatives and Bahrain Contractor Society, the Joint Committee of the Council of Representatives and Bahrain Chamber of Industry and Commerce, the Joint Committee of the Council of Representatives and Bahrain Businessmen Society the Joint Finance and Economic Affairs Committee and the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee, the Joint Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee and the Public Facilities and Environment Committee, and the Joint Committee of Finance and Economic Affairs Committee, and the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee and the Services Committee. There are also temporary committees which include committee to study the government action plan and a committee to draft a reply to the royal speech consisting of members approved by the council as per a proposal submitted to the council bureau. Its mandate is to study the royal speech and prepare a reply to the same that is submitted to the council on the set time and is there to present it to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa after being approved by the council. A delegation from the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, and this is Bahrain, visited the San Francisco El Grande Church, one of the oldest and grandest churches in all of Spain, where they met with the local Catholic community and shared the ideologies of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of religious freedom and peaceful coexistence. More in this report with Shog Mohammed. A delegation from the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain visited the San Francisco El Grande Cathedral, which lies in the center of Madrid. The cathedral is one of the oldest and grandest in all of Spain and has the fourth largest dome in the world. The delegation took part in a tour with the local Catholic community and shared the ideologies and visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of peaceful coexistence and religious freedom. This is a beautiful um, cathedral. The um, origins of it, I believe, are in 1760. It has the largest cathedral dome in all of Spain and the fourth largest in the world. And of course, here in the Kingdom of Spain, the official um, religion is Catholicism. And this is a superb example of um, a cathedral here. Now, of course, this, the real significance for us from the Kingdom of Bahrain, from This is Bahrain, and from the King Hamid Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence is that in Bahrain, His Majesty has donated land for the Our Lady of Arabia Cathedral, which will be the largest church ever built on all of the Arabian Peninsula. 
Consisting of seven chapels decorated with wonderful paintings and a remarkable dome, the interior of San Francisco El Grande is one of the most beautiful and unique in the world, which made this visit even more significant. This visit is a very significant visit actually to one of the largest and oldest cathedrals in Spain. Um, we in Bahrain have also the Lady of Arabia Cathedral coming up very soon and the, we have the Sacred Heart Church which is also the Catholic Church in Bahrain, one of the oldest churches, um, goes back to around 80 years old and uh, so you know having this visit uh, shows how Bahrain uh, appreciates the, the Christianity, the, the Catholic religion, and the, the Christians in Bahrain, as well as uh, showing the Spanish people um, that we understand, we know about Christianity, we live together in peace, uh, and we give an example to the people how people should live together. And we've seen that also in, uh, in Spain here, how they have the mosques, the churches together, uh, close to each other, and this is really what we, in, uh, uh, or what the, this is Bahrain is trying to pass the message of His Majesty the King. It's a wonderful opportunity to be in Madrid as a member of a Christian uh, Catholic uh, from Bahrain sharing uh, this is Bahrain to visit uh, Spain and Madrid, especially to visit the biggest uh, dome, uh, San Francisco dome, the biggest one. So it's uh, glad to be here with them and to share with the other religions, uh, Hindus and uh, Sikh and Christian and Muslim, to enter this biggest church. It's a pleasure to me to be with them here today. The construction of the Lady of Arabia Cathedral, the largest church in the Arabian Peninsula, on land graciously donated by His Majesty King Hamad, is a major indicator of the importance of the Christian community in Bahrain and His Majesty the King's desire to provide religious freedom to all. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Hamad.